let's get into kind of the meat of the, of the conversation around the National Save for Retirement Week. And I know you are extremely passionate. You are a driving force, as I, as I said earlier. Can you kind of provide an overview of uh, National Save for Retirement Week? NAGDA started advocating with different co congressional sponsors for an event like this in, the, in 2006 was the first one. And it was um, Senators Ben Cardin from Maryland, who I know is your senator, yes, yes. as well as uh, Kent Conrad were the first two original sponsors and NAGDA started um, realizing, and it was way well before my time as uh, being involved at the board level of NAGDA, uh, but they started realizing that we needed a platform to be able to get the attention of, of our participants as well as the public and uh, be able to focus and bring awareness to um, retirement planning. And um, it's been something that I, I can, in the role that I have, I see how daunting it is for my participants to figure out what to do for their retirement. They're all focused on other things like their families and their jobs and their educations. And you know, this is a whole field unto itself that the average person has not tackled. So I see how daunting that is. And, and that this is, you know, the national, what started out as National Save for Retirement Week. And then recently we um, kind of transitioned to the name of National Retirement Security Week broaden that out so that it encompasses not only the savers but also the people that are in retirement and who are decumulating or you know spending down their assets and um, so it's it's very important and something that's been special for me is that after a few years of um, Sen uh, Senator Conrad sponsoring the event he was leaving and he asked Senator Enzi from Wyoming to take over as the sponsor. Your home state. Yes, and it's been really, really meaningful to me to work with Senator Enzi um, on this issue. He's passionate about it and uh, I think every you know year that we do these campaigns, it gets more ingrained into um, the minds of our participants. And so just to be clear, this isn't just about government defined contribution plans or government retirement plan. This is a national campaign focused on all participants, all employees, to, regardless of what sector of the economy they service. NAGDA has made a long-term commitment to building this event, and I know we've been participating in this event kind of in uh, all doing individual campaigns and having some degree of success with those, but um, what we've, we've made a long-term commitment to moving this into the national realm and trying to um, you know, magnify our voice with one message nationwide. And, you know, it's, it's because we see that there, we really need a societal change toward retirement. And let me just give you a parallel, sure. if I could. Sure. Um, I grew up in Wyoming, as you know, in the 70s, and hard to believe, but back then, people didn't wear seatbelts. And um, there was, this was just normal. And I recall a family trip that we took to Yellowstone, which is about an eight hour drive from my home in Cheyenne to Yellowstone. It was 1974 and we didn't wear seatbelts the whole time we were driving to Yellowstone. And if we'd had an accident, it would have just been terrible, you know? But then by the time I was going into high school, something had changed and my family was wearing seatbelts and everybody was wearing seatbelts. And I can tell you, I wear a seatbelt all the time now and so do my kids and I would never go anywhere without a seatbelt. And um, you know, basically what happened? What happened to create that societal change in our behavior? There was a national campaign for awareness with seatbelts and that's kind of what NAGDA has realized we need uh, for National Retirement Security Week. And it's really that that cam campaign that has, pulls in a lot of different factors. It's at the federal level, the national level, reinforced with public and private institutions, and that's what we're moving toward. And 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 so we, I think what's interesting, and, and we've articulated on the show and, and with previous guests, is so much of the conversation to date has been, you know, kind of on the periphery or the sidelines, you know, save for retirement. And so this is a national campaign, but much of the oxygen has been around healthcare recently, you know, the last uh, two decades really about healthcare, but healthcare is an important component in retirement. You know, it's, you know that's, that's one aspect of retirement. And so maybe it's really time for the, the retirement topic to kind of take uh, the place of healthcare and we can talk, have a, that national yeah. conversation. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. It's a more holistic way of looking at everything. And by, you know, just having that um, awareness ingrained in people as they enter the workforce, 
I need to check into my employer's retirement plan because I need to get going with that with my very first job after I finish my education. And you know, to be able to uh, plant that seed in a person's mind that I can't liquidate my retirement savings between every job because you know, that's just devastating to your overall retirement security. To have those thoughts already built into people's minds um, as they enter the workforce, it would make a tremendous difference. And, and I just want to point out that I wear my seatbelt in the back seat <laughs> as well. Um, so let's, let's change gears. Let's talk about the 2016 uh, Your Whole Story campaign. So what, can you tell the audience about that if they're not familiar? And they should be familiar. You should be familiar with this. Yes. Well, first of all, I want to just hold up a few graphics for you and uh, it, yeah Beautiful. It's, it's pretty cool Collateral. it's pretty cool and um, I want to tell you that NAGDA for 2016 we put together a group of, of industry partners and plan sponsors from government like, like myself we all got together and we collaborated about this idea of NAGDA providing the campaign that all of us could use as well as anyone in the private sector, um, any nonprofits. It's, it's freely available on NAGDA's website for everyone to use. I think they're going to put the website up on the screen. It's NAGDA slash NRSW for National Retirement Security Week. This is, this is the <laughs> first time, by the way, that we're actually putting the graphic probably around here. <laughs> and. Um, so um, we all came together and we talked a lot about the principles that we wanted to base the campaign on, what we wanted to accomplish, and we talked a lot about the voice of the campaign. What kind of a voice did we want the campaign to have? We really wanted the campaign to have a voice of a trusted mentor or a champion. And it's really, it's the voice of the, the plan sponsor or even the retirement plan participant themselves as they are sharing the information with their friends, their family, their coworkers, because you know we can all be our own champion when it comes to retirement savings. And we partnered with the National Association of Retirement Plan Participants, known as NARP, NARP. and they're a really uh, thought leadership oriented organization as well, so it was a good partnership. And they designed the campaign for us, and you can see, yeah, yeah. Um, you can see that you know the the graphics are very different; <clears throat> they're very engaging. And um, we what we did is we developed a number of different um, ready use uh, pieces of information. This is what we call our savings journey map, and this is something that's designed to have a person open it up and look at it and you can start a conversation with them. Like, where are you at in your financial journey? Your financial life is important as is as important as every other aspect of your life. And this is kind of calling people to think about it and take care of it, just like they take care of everything else. You know, your education, your um, travel schedule, you take care of everything else. And so you, know, you start a conversation with people and say, you know, have you started an emergency fund? Here's, here's a, you know, a point in time where you know, it makes sense to do that. So this is a fun piece. We also call it an artifact of the campaign. This is a piece that people get to take home with them. Now, plan sponsors are going to be really different about how they roll out this campaign or did roll out this campaign. Um, some are going to print the materials like I was able to do in Wyoming, but some can't, and so it's all also online. And so plan sponsors can go to the website. There's a part for the um, plan sponsor to go to to download all these materials. They can customize them or they can use them as is. And then there's another part of the website that's for participants to go to where they can see the materials for them. This is our, um, uh, we call it our field notes. And it's basically a collection of retirement tips that are uh, put together in really um, easy to understand graphics and short snippets of engaging information that plant those seeds of good retirement behaviors. People can flip through this in, you know, there's 10 a, minutes. There's a journey map, I yeah. guess. Yeah, yeah. People can flip through this in 10 minutes and um, have some really good takeaways that will guide them well for retirement um, security. And here's, here's one of my favorite ones. And this um, graphic quickly shows you, you know, you spend a small part of your life in growing up into adulthood, then you spend the biggest part of your life in your working years, but look how much you spend in retirement. It's almost as much as you spend working. People often have a misconception about how much of their life is gonna be spent in retirement, which creates a barrier to them taking good steps towards retirement savings. They think, oh, it's just gonna be a few years at the end of my life, and it's, you know, it's, not, it's not a significant 
part of my life. This quickly, in a visual way, tells you that it is, and it's motivating. Um, so you can see I'm pretty psyched about um, the, our field notes, and you know, again, I was able to print these in Wyoming because I, you know, had a small budget for printing, but they're all available on the website di digitally, and so you can use them that way as well. And, and I and I noticed before you, you move on to some of the other ideas, yeah, you know, they're very simple. There's very simple language in here. You know, in our industry, right, there is a lot of jargon, and right. I think that can be a turnoff for participants and kind of be a, a barrier for entry. So, you know, I notice that it's important. I think that's one of the uh, the lessons learned, best practices, and your communications right. Right. expert. Um, you know, make it simple for people to understand. If not, tune out. Right, exactly, and it gets back to that trust. You know, we really wanted to have the voice of the campaign to be that trusted mentor. And you know, you're not gonna trust someone who talks to you in a way that you don't understand just because it's a barrier. But um, I wanna show you one more thing and I wanna give this to you, Jeff, because you're such a fantastic NAGDA member, such a Thank great you. part of the NAGDA Thank community. You. Um, you know, in Wyoming, we printed this up as a giveaway to our for our members and we um, are fortunate that we're our members are in Social Security, we have a defined benefit pension plan, and then we also have our 457 plan, which represents supplemental savings in our environment. Our members are often confused, and, and they'll be like, what do I have for retirement? They don't know. So this is a quick way to visually show them what they have for retirement, and it's, a, a, it's an education moment all on its own. And it's, um, it's fun to be able to educate in such a simple way, but it's such an important foundation that they know that. And I love it. And here, well, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I didn't mean to take it from you. No, take uh, it. I, I, you know, grab it out of your hands. It's, it's appreciative, and it, it is really nice. And I think uh, one of the things that we've worked on with uh, some of our clients is infographics and things that kind of boil things down and to make it simple and to kind of have this um, be so um, in not someone's face, but I mean, create awareness is, is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. So I think of it as an updated image of the three-legged stool. Yep. For you know, because it's like I have this, I have this, I have this. Yep. This is my retirement. You know. And I think oftentimes um, you're kind of going going off on a tangent, but that's typically what we do on the show. <laughs> you know, the defined contribution, defined contribution, and defined benefit are often seen as completely opposite sides of the spectrum, but they're really not in competition oh, no. with one another. And maybe this kind of leads me uh, to some questions that we'll tackle in a little bit, but they kind of work in, in complement of one another. It's the, the best retirement plan is a defined benefit plan and a defined contribution plan together. They work together very well. It's great. Th this is an exciting campaign and, uh, you know, it's, it's had a great impact. What can we look forward to for 2017? Well, thank you, Jeff. Uh, it's really, we're really proud of your whole story, and I, wa I wanted to mention that we won a P&I Eddie Award for your whole story, and everybody who worked on uh, the campaign, we had a task force of about almost 20 people from NAGDA working on it, as well as NARP as the designer, and um, everybody's so proud, and it was really encouraging. We brought together um, the same task force, few different people changing up, but it's basically, it's about eight plan sponsors, uh, about 10 or so people from industry. Um, people think I'm crazy because I have such a big group, but we break into smaller subgroups and we really get in there and we um, drill down and dialogue about what we want to do. And we held a, a strategy session for 2017 and everybody ag agreed our best strategy would be to expand and build upon your whole story for 2017. So plan sponsors can be looking forward to it coming out and uh, the, the, we're gonna build additional materials for it um, and those will be available on our website probably in early July. Um, I'm not gonna tell you a whole lot about what they're gonna be but they're basically gonna be a, a little bit more video uh, material and we're going to try to do kind of a peer-to-peer -peer format where we have some participants speaking about the barriers that they've faced with retirement awareness and how they've overcome it. We know that's a powerful format and then also materials that are more geared towards uh, pre-retirees mm -hmm. which uh, is a I know in Wyoming it's a bigger piece of our population than the mid-career people. We've got kind of an older population. This is you know a great uh, great details about 2017 and we're really looking forward to that but all this would not be mm -hmm. possible if it weren't for the support the bipartisan support I should say one of the yeah. few bipartisan if issues here in Washington DC right now 
of the support of, of uh, Senators Enzi and Senators Car and Senator Cardin. I cannot uh, thank Senator Cardin and Senator Enzi enough for their ongoing support. You know, they have been doing this for uh, 10 plus years and and they do it because they believe in it and they're passionate about it and getting the resolution through the process in the Senate is not an easy thing to do. Their staffers work on it for uh, practically a year. It takes practically a year for them to get it done. So and they're so uh, gracious and kind and supportive. Um, it really gives us a platform. <clears throat> the uh, you know the congressional endorsement gives us a platform that we can then use to get the attention that we need to build the awareness and we just want to maximize it more and more and take it all the way into the public sphere and there's uh, like I said the materials are freely available on NAGDA's website and anyone uh, can use them and there's no there's no restriction whatsoever. You, plan sponsors can customize it in the way that they would like with their logo adding that on, um, adding in some of their own information if, if uh, you know, that would be appropriate or if they don't have the capability to do that, there's off the shelf that you can use. And, and let me just say that uh, Senators Cardin and Enzi, they have an open invitation to appear on the show if they wish. Um, wow. It, which is, that's big news. Yeah. Forget Fox, forget CNBC, MSNBC, <laughs> come to Sting Head of the Curve and Asset TV.